Thank you for hanging out with me today. This is Cage848, and welcome back to Project Castaway. So check this out. The plane had, well, the plane actually didn't, like, come onto the island. The plane was right off the island, like, right there, and I started pushing it on the island. And I'm going to try and push it more inland, because I want the plane to stay here. So let's see if we can get this more inland. Yeah, that looks pretty good. All right, you know what? That looks really good right there. Hopefully it'll stay there. I had the plane on the island at one point in this series. And I don't know. It ended up in the water somehow. I really don't know. But why do I want to get the plane on the island? Eh, no reason. It's just, it's fun. It's fun for me. Anyway, what are we going to be doing today? Today we are going to be working on the base. Now, I just want to bring to your attention. Normally what I would do when I want to start a video is I would read the comments from the last video and take notes on things that I might want to address in this episode. I don't know what happened yesterday, but I didn't put the videos up, right? Someone brought it to my attention at 7 p.m. I had no videos up. My videos go up at 9 a.m. and 4 p.m. And at 7 p.m., nothing was up. And real professional YouTuber here. I can't believe that. I made the video. I edited the video, got the thumbnail, put it, set it all up for YouTube. The last thing I had to do was set the time for the next day because I set up my videos the day before, right? And I just didn't do it. I mean, I don't know what's wrong with me, man. Like, sometimes those mistakes happen, but it really, really pissed me off. <laughs> but uh, the videos are up now. What are you going to, you know, one thing I got to learn to do is let things go that have, have already happened and I can't do anything about it now. And let's just, let's just continue on with the day. I think what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to drink some coffee. There we go. And we will leave this out here to fill with water. Oh, another thing I want to show you before we actually start building Check this out. I don't know what the heck is going on here. Uh, actually, before I go up there and show that to you, I'm kind of dialing back a little bit. I've got a bunch of meat here um, being smoked. So that's cool. I've got the smoker, all the meat in there. I can now put out the fire, so it doesn't matter how many sticks you put in. You you know, you can put as many as you want, and if 63 hours is too long, then when all these this meat is done, I simply, you know, put out the fire, which is great. Okay, the other thing I wanted to show you up here. Check this out. Logged on today. The shelves were gone, and all my stuff was on the floor. I don't know what the heck is going on here, but um, that is extremely annoying. Uh, those shelves cost a total of five metal, and they're not here anymore. Um, I'm not so mad that they're gone. I'm mad that I don't have the five metal back. Uh, so it is what it is. I will not be making them again. All right, so the first thing we want to do in this building is we want to fi finish up these. And we're going to need a bunch of large sticks, which is good because I actually have a lot of large sticks. Did I have any sticks out here? I thought I did, but I'm not seeing them, so I guess not. So let's come over here and look for the large sticks. Here we go. Cool. We're going to have to do something with the farm pretty soon, too. Yeah, you know what? We should probably do that, like, next. Next thing. i got to decide what I want to put in the small farms. I gotta make some shark repellent today too. I keep make, I keep meaning to make it and I keep forgetting. All right, there we go. And two in there. All right, so we've got right here is gold, gold, tin, and we'll do the copper over here. Copper. I mean, we should make tin. We do two next to each other. Yeah, you know what? I think we're gonna do two tin right next to each other. We'll move those over. So let's go ahead and grab some more small sticks. All right, six will be enough. It's nice to have backup small, uh, sorry, large sticks. It's nice to have backup large sticks. You just go grab them and you're good to go. Come on. All right, now we do need some small, man. You need a lot of small sticks for that. Holy moly. Come on. Come on. Now, I do have coffee planted. I wonder if that's going to be enough coffee for now because I kind of want to do Hawaiian berries because those those give you three small sticks where the coffee trees only give you one small stick uh but it's going to depend on how much coffee i have i mean i probably have enough coffee for a bit okay, there you go nope take those out take those out there we go okay so that's going to be tin and we also have tin right there so i want tin to be together that's not gonna work though Okay, yeah, that's not going to work. Uh, maybe we can do... If we could put all the copper in here, then we could move the tin. That's all the copper, right? Yes, it is. Okay. All right, so we can move the tin. So what we'll do is we'll grab this. Okay. 
There we go. Man, you can hold a lot of shards. And then we're going to put tin right here. Uh, silver. Oh, wait, that was silver. Oh, whatever. It doesn't matter. Tin. And then we don't want to go over. Copper. Okay, and then copper. And then I think we have... We don't have two things of copper. We have two things of... Oops. I keep putting stuff in here. Okay, so here's what I ended up with. The gold is still the gold. Uh, the silver shards are right there with the gold. And then over here, we have copper and tin. So the only thing I needed two of these for was the gold so far. Uh, I don't know why. I thought I needed two for a lot of the other ones, but I don't know. I guess not. Really doesn't matter. We got that all set up, and that is wonderful. The next thing I would like to build is this right here. Um, we're just going to need two logs. That shouldn't be a big deal. Come down here and grab two logs. I like to build all the ghost images I already have up before I start building new stuff. I've got a lot of new stuff I want to build, but, you know, first things first. Also, I'm not really sure how to get rid of this lag because um, part of the lag is that everything's on the ground, but like the stuff on the ground, I, I like, I don't think I'd get rid of it if I tried. Like, what am I supposed to do with the cloth? I've got like a hundred cloth on the ground, but like, I don't even think I could get rid of it if I wanted to. And even if I did, I'd, I'd kind of want it. I you could put it in the drop chest, but, or the drop box, but the drop box is the same as being on the ground, I think. Maybe it's not. You know what? I'll, I'll mess around with drop boxes again. I've dropped things into these and like, look right here. Look, when you drop it in there, it's still there. It's on the, it's just like it's on the ground, except it's in the drop box. It's still part of the world. And I think still causing lag. Although I don't know, I guess I could be wrong about that, but I really, um, do not think I am. Go ahead and grab the message in the bottle. And let's grab some of this. At least I think I'm going to need some of this. I have, I have more, uh, Standing torches that I need to make, and those take the, the sheet metal. Yeah. All right, I'll leave this up here just in case. And cool, it's actually full. That's so cool. I knew it would be full, like, but I don't know. There's something about actually having it done that is really, really cool. Okay, so now we're done there. What do these need? Sticks. Need more sticks. More small sticks. So let's go ahead and let's grab the farm. And I'll do the farm off camera. I've done a lot of farming. So don't even show farming every video. What, how are you guys doing? Yeah, you're doing good. All right, very nice. I don't even think you need to smoke anything, if I'm going to be honest. I've never had a piece of cooked meat go bad yet. Okay. And now, this is going to be the awesome part. So, I don't remember where these things are, though. Uh, I, yeah, they're in the farm. Never mind. So, we've got palm fences. Okay, and I don't know which way is the proper way. I think it's it almost looks the same on both sides. I don't know. I'll put it this way, I guess. Honestly, I really don't think it matters. Oh, it's not going to line up perfectly. <laughs> Can you even put it up here? Oh, yeah, you can. You just can't put it that close. Ugh, the fact that these don't line up is freaking pissing me off. Ugh. I'm going to have to let it. I'm going to have to let it go. There's nothing I can do about it. So letting myself get upset about it is not worth it. There's, I mean, literally nothing I can do. Right? I mean, from far away, you wouldn't be able to tell. And, uh, very nice. I don't know how we're going to do here at the corner. Yeah, that's not going to... I don't think that's going to work. You could put a small one in here. Uh, you know what? It's not perfect, but... I think it's about the best I can do. going to do the front porch next. Got it all done up top. And now we're going to do the front porch. See how this goes. Um, I'm probably going to put a small one in here. And even a small one's not going to fit. Uh, okay, so it's not... All right. You know what? Yeah, it won't fit like that. So we could do it like this. It's not the perfect way, but eh. It's good enough. It is plenty good enough. But this one, you know, we'll have this one going out like so. 
No, actually, going in. And then we'll have this one going out. Or going... Eh. Oh, yeah, it does. Okay. Yeah, it works for me. Then we got to do over here. I was thinking about putting a staircase here. I was like, nah. Let's just, let's just make this a whole freaking thing right here. The heck with it. Now you're going to think, man, you're really going to need a lot of palm fronds. Yes. Yes, I am. Um, I did grab a bunch, though, before I started recording today. Uh, let's do this. Let's see how this comes out. And then... You one right in the middle? All right. Yeah, it's not so bad. That's not so bad. Now let's go do the back porch. And then that'll be it. We can start building. So... The, I, you know, I think the one thing they need more than anything in this game is to have stuff snap into place according to where your foundations and everything else is going to be. This whole, like, not being able to snap into place is... It's getting old, man. It's getting old. So I hope that gets fixed pretty soon. And beautiful. Yeah, yeah, see that that I almost want to destroy that. You know, I guess we probably could. Nah, let's do it like that. It's fine. It is perfectly fine. So this is where all my palm fronds are. So let's go ahead and get this show on the road. It is going to take a lot of palm fronds. Do I actually have to go that close? Can I do it from here? Nope. Wow. You really gotta get close for these. Alright, this stupid thing's in my way. So I'm gonna chop, chop, chop it up. Okay, and you go right there. Those uh, banana leaves are also in the way, but they're not, like, they don't stop me from walking around, so I guess it really doesn't matter. How are we gonna be able to do this from up top? Please tell me we can... Oh, boy. Oh, I don't like that. Uh, hold on. Yeah. The fact that I can't build these from down here sucks. Oh, that sucks. That sucks hard. <laughs> I didn't think it was possible, but that both blows and sucks. Okay, well. What are you gonna do? There and there. I guess we might as well go get some rope at this point. And I'm going to have to figure something out um, because the lag is getting, it, it's starting to get unbearable. 15 frames a second is, is not going to work for me. Uh, so the only thing I could try and do, the only thing I could try and do to deal with the lag is to put everything on the ground that is on the ground into the drop containers. Um, are they called drop chests or yeah, the drop boxes. So I'm going to put everything in the Dropbox and see if that helps the lag. If it does not, then we're looking at a restart because this is, um, this is pretty bad. Or, I don't know. Who knows? Maybe I won't. We'll see. <laughs> I still got quite a few episodes planned on this world that I don't want to give up on right now. So we'll have to see. I don't know if the lag bothers you guys when watching, but it's bothered me when playing. Although if you guys are okay with it, I, 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 I guess I can deal with it for a while. We'll see. We shall see. I should find out when there's going to be another big update. Like, the kind of update that would, like, give me b benefits to restarting the world. Uh, the last update, the one I think it happened last episode, that would give me benefits to restarting the world. Because um, if I restart the world, I can now get all the parts to just, you know, fix the plane. So. There we go. Yeah, they look fine. They look fine. They're fine. We need a freaking palm frond carrier. <laughs> oh my goodness. Why can I only carry four of these? I need like a million of them. I need four for each large fence. Ugh. Yeah, this is going to take a while. Well, good news is you won't have to sit through it. I now have palm fronds in every single fence in this build, I believe. Uh, the next thing I'm going to need is rope. I did run out of rope, so we're going to go on out here. Um, the lag has gotten a little bit better. I made some changes to the world. Uh, also, I got rid of motion blur, finally. Uh, the game's always ha always had motion blur in it. It's always bothered me. And I was like, well, motion blur is turned off. I don't know what to do. Basically, if you if you still have motion blur and this is turned off, turn it on and then turn it off again. And that seemed to work for me. Um, so that is awesome. And let's come on out here. Now we need to find those yucca trees, like these right here. 
Really? I was gonna say. I was gonna say I, I was pretty sure I could chop those, but I don't know. There we go. Looking good. Let's find some more. And I'm not seeing it. They kind like I don't know. It's weird. Like sometimes I see them with no problems. Sometimes I do have problems. They they look kind of hidden to me right now. Although you guys probably see. Oh, there's one. I mean, they are camouflaged in the worst possible way. I'm going to need two ropes for each railing that I made. Are they called railings? They're called fences, right? Well, they're going to be railings for me in my house. And fences for me outside my house. So I guess it could be one or the other. Whatever you want to call it. Call it whatever you want. I'm going to call it a railing right now. And should I get more of these? I probably should. Let's take a look in this area. I should probably start grabbing these when I'm at other islands as well. And yes, I will be going to other islands. Um, one thing I did do is I reset all my settings. So if the sound is off, if any of the visuals are off, you know, don't hesitate to bring that to my attention. I think I got everything to where it's supposed to be, but if anything, the game sound might be louder, but I think I kind of like it better that way. Yeah, listen to that rain. You guys like the sound of rain? I love the sound of rain. I really do. Okay, I'm not seeing any more. I guess, oh, here we go. Just hoping to get one more before we go in. Okay, that's looking good. Beautiful. And let's come on in here and see what's what. I think I have a spinning wheel on the second floor, I believe. Uh, yep, there it is. Okay. Um, oh, by the way, when I, I was on the Discord asking questions, I was like, you know, I get it's an early access game. And, like, some people are lagging, some aren't. There was a lot of people on Discord who were like, I'm not having any issues. I'm like, yeah, I mean, that's cool and all, but that doesn't really help me. <laughs> so, and I don't have, like, a brand new computer, but my computer is pretty decent. I've got, like, a, um, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what I have. I have, I know I have a 3070, but the, the CPU is the thing I'm not sure. I think it's a 10,850i9 or something. So, it's not, like, super new, but I don't want to, like... I don't like when people are like, oh, yeah, just go buy a new computer. Like, I feel like my computer is not new, but I don't feel like it's old enough where it should be a problem. I feel like the game should be running smoothly. And um, uh, the guy on Discord, I, I think he was one of the developers. He's a developer, one of the people helping run Discord. Um, they were like, yeah, your computer spec should run this game with no problem. Can you send me your save file? I think the idea is I might have built a big, a big base and I have crap all over the place. Um, also, the torches... Uh, yeah, the standing torches cause a lot of lag. I notice my lag is always worse at night. So, that's something. Um, but yeah, the developer, I, I'm, I don't know if it's a developer or not. It was either a developer or someone that works for the Discord or something, and they were like, um, it's really cool in this game, by the way. You can send, uh, I don't think I can show it to you right now, but on the home screen of the game, you know, before you actually load up your game, there's a little bug report thing, and it's so cool. You could go to the bug report thing, and you don't have to fill out, like, a 20-word essay on, like, what, what's going on. I mean, I guess you could put as much information there as you want, but it's really easy. I just put lag, and then I, I – and they wanted me to let them know that it was from KJ48. So I was like, okay, lag from KJ48, and um, it, what's really cool about it is you can click a button, and it'll, like, send your save file with no issues. Like – I mean, that's, that's amazing. I don't know of any other early access games that do that. I pressed like one button and it's sent to my save file. That's, that's really, really cool. I don't know. Maybe other games do do that. And I, I just don't know about it, but I don't know, man. I thought that was pretty dope. The ease of sending a save file is going to make their bug issues, you know, when they're looking at what's causing lag and stuff, you know, they're going to be able to figure it out a lot easier. And like I said, my computer is like, you know, it's, it's okay. It's pretty good. It was, it was really good when it was made. A couple of years ago, but now it's just kind of... I wouldn't call it dated. I really wouldn't. Uh, 64 gigs of RAM, a 3070, and an i9 um, processor. So, all right. The next thing we're going to need is sticks. I probably shouldn't be chopping that because I still have sticks in here. So, I am due for an upgrade, though. You know, I have a computer upstairs It's that's pretty rocking. And um, I think I'm going to set that one up. Uh, I, got it a, I got it a little while ago, but, like, here's the thing, though. Like... In order for me to set up a computer, I have to do so much. As a content creator, like, it's a big deal to, like, switch computers. A really big deal. You don't even know. Like, everything from audio issues to setting up your, you know, your video editing, like, settings and everything. Um, thumbnails. Like, it's a big, big deal to be switching computers. But I have to. I'm going to. 
Um, I'm getting piers put under my foundation uh, in November. So I have to get everything out of the basement and I do my work in the basement. So I think when I move everything out of the basement, probably in the beginning of November, um, I'm probably going to set up to, to play with my new computer instead of this one. So I'm just sitting here working on my railings and I'm thinking to myself, and I'm like, what CPU do I have? And it sort of, it started bothering me. So I did look it up. I've got an i9 10850K. And I was like, all right, that doesn't, you know, to someone like me, I don't, I mean, it seemed good when I, when, you know, it was made, but how good is it now? So I looked it up. It was made uh, in 2020, July of 2020, I think, uh, which makes it like uh, four and a half years old. It seems pretty old. I don't know why I'm coming up here. I don't need anything up here. It seems pretty old to me. So I was like, oh man, is my computer like that weak? Is the CPU the problem? Let me look it up. So I looked it up and the general consensus is the Intel Core i9 10 850K is still a good CPU for gaming and handling heavy workloads in 2024. So it's still it's still a good it's still a good CPU, which is kind of amazing because it was made in 2020. But I think when I got it, it was it was pretty it wasn't new, but it was kind of new-ish. You know, stuff can get really expensive when you're new. If you're building a computer, I think most people would say go the next generation down, unless you just have unlimited money and you don't really care. But a lot of times, you know, when you go with the 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 really new stuff. It gets really expensive. So it wasn't new when I made it, but it was it was really close to being new. It's like, uh, it's good. It's good. I don't have any problems with any other games. So I was wondering, because someone, like I said earlier, someone in Discord said that it could be your your CPU because um, this game relies heavily on your CPU than your GPU. GPU is your graphics card. For those of you who don't know, CPU is your central processing unit. Um, so, yeah. And then, I, and then I looked, and apparently I'm only using... 12 to 15 percent of my cpu while playing this game so i'm barely using any cpu the the video card's using about 30 percent still not exactly being taxed so if neither are being taxed then i don't i don't know shrug my shoulders at this point not worry about it the lag seems better now um i just i can't use these these um torches at night that's a real problem also check this out i've got some cooked meat seasoned and smoked let's go ahead and have one of these and also the bird meat like burned, which is really weird. I didn't think stuff could burn in the smokehouse and I don't think it should. So I don't know what happened with the bird meat, but I came over here, it was on the floor. And when I picked it up, it was burnt. So I used it as fertilizer. You know, what are you, you going to do? What are you going to do? All right. So I think we are just about done with these railings now. This has been a long recording session. It's only going to be like, you know, 25 minute, half hour video for you guys. But for me, Oh boy, it's going to be a long night. It's already almost midnight and I still have to record another video after this. So <laughs> I've let the wife know. She understands. So she's great. And I uh, just got to kind of deal with it. Hey man. Hey, I'm not complaining. I'll do this job any day of the week till four o'clock in the morning. If it means not having to go in and bake bagels, you know, <laughs> I mean, seriously. Okay. You're good. You're good. And grab these. And th this should be just about enough, I think. We're just about done here. Which is fantastic. Exactly the way I, the way I wanted the base to be. By the way, I did also check on Discord and the person that told me to send in the um, the save file is one of the developers. So that's cool. And it's not, it's not just for me. Like, it's for, it's for other people, you know, as well. Like, I want this game to do well. I want people to play without lag. So we got to, you know... I don't mind helping the devs, especially when it's so easy as just go to the freaking homepage of the game, press a couple buttons, and you're good. That's awesome. A lot of times when like people want me sending bug reports, we fill out this whole freaking thing. Like, well, what is the bug and where where is this going? As it takes like you know 15, 20 minutes, and I just don't want to do it. You know. Um, okay, so let's take a look. Yeah, this looks freaking fantastic. Hold on, that's gotta be a, that's gotta be a screenshot. I grabbed one. I don't know if I'm actually going to use it, but I very well might. It's hard to get good screenshots in this game, especially from this angle. They just, eh, whatever. You guys don't care about screenshots. <laughs> okay. Well, let's go ahead and make this thing too, because this thing was supposed to be made a while ago. And we're going to need three sheets of metal. Where did I put the metal? There it is. One, two, three. Yeah, this, this place looks awesome. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Oh, really cool. Really cool. I'm happy with this base. Sometimes my bases, I'm like, eh, you know, it's all right. This one I'm really happy with. Awesome base. Go, and we're going to need a log. 
I gotta plant those crops again, but I gotta be honest, I've been doing a lot of farming and I'm kind of I'm kind of over it. <laughs> Why am I not using my knife? I don't know. Whatever. I'm using the axe. You know, if I'm not going to chop down trees, there's no reason to hold that axe. There we go. Are there any other go hold on, let me sit up in my chair. Because this is super important. Are there any other ghost images I'm not seeing? Hmm. Let's run through here. Can't think of any. Nope, got everything done in there. Got everything done out here. This is awesome. Yeah. Yeah. This is good stuff right here. All right, let's come up here. Nope. It looks like it's all good. All right, that's beautiful. It's beautiful. Okay. Um. Well, you know, it's a little early. I didn't want to call it here, but I gotta be honest, with you guys. I don't have much else to do. Want to go through some lore? All right. Tell you what, we're gonna go through some lore. This will be the end of the video if you don't care about lore. So, let's just uh, an impromptu uh, lore dive. Ooh, hold on. Let's see what we need for the plane parts. Damn, twelve gold ingots, bunch of screws. Yeah. There's no way I'm gonna be able to get all this stuff. in ooh, fuel. Oh, fuel drum. Are they called fuel <laughs> fuel drums or barrels? Maybe a fuel drum is something different. Yeah, they're called metal barrels. Okay. So I didn't know there was fuel drums in the game. That's going to be something I have to look into. So I looked into Blakewood Chronicles. And apparently uh, these people sent sail from London. And this is like old timey stuff because they're talking like old timey people. They Honestly, they sound like they sound like pirates. Um, so, and they, they, you know, sailed from London looking for, um, the fabled landy lands rumored to lie across the vast Pacific. Right. And then basically, um, they're just, you know, their supplies are dwindling. There was like, uh, somebody was like challenging this guy, the, um, the, I don't know what the, what the guy's name is, but, uh, the main guy, the guy in charge, the, the captain, I guess. And this dude like, you know, started, you know, challenging him henry yeah he put and then he put henry in the brig you know and then more people started challenging him to people talking about mutiny so he had to make an example of henry so he hung henry on the ship and that's all i know about this uh the air is thick with fear and distrust we continue our journey but this spirit of adventure at once filled our hearts has been replaced by a growing sense of dread the sea once our ally now feels like a vast inescapable prison so I wonder if that's the ship that I've gone to before. Uh, for those of you who don't know, if you're new to the game, there's like a, a sunken ship out there. And that might be the ship that, you know, that the people are talking about. Not much happened in this. It wasn't like, you know, Logan Harper Island or Thompson Island. It was just um very small, very small story there, but still interesting. Uh, I'll go ahead and pause the video if you guys want to read like every little bit of it. I already read every little bit of it. Honestly, not too much happened. Like I said, pirate, uh, I'm guessing a pirate. Um, looking for treasure, mutiny. He hung the guy who was going to be the mutineer. And uh, that's the last that I hear about it. So there you go. All right, guys. I do think I'm going to call this one here. If you ended up enjoying the video, please remember to uncage that like button. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. And until then, take it easy.